in a recent video, we got coaching from Knight Rider to try to get us to Grand Champ in 1v1s. And after doing our placements this season, we landed somewhere in Champ 2. And I thought I'd share some of my 1s gameplay with you guys as we grind our way into GC. So, let's get right into it. Now, I'll start by saying I'm not that great at 1v1s, but I thought this could be useful to some of y'all who want to watch someone that isn't a pro or like a high level player. Since it's kind of like in school, sometimes you would ask your classmates for help instead of the teacher, since it could be easier to learn or understand something from a similar perspective or from like a layman's perspective. So hopefully I can provide that for you guys today while you smack that like button. The YouTube algorithm has been kicking my butt lately, so any help would be super appreciated. This is my first live gameplay video, and talking while playing is definitely a skill I'm trying to work on more, so I'm hoping I didn't screw it up too bad and some of you guys still find this enjoyable or informative to watch. Let's get right into our first game. Hopefully our kickoffs don't suck, but they probably will. Oh, okay, yep. <laughs> Starting off exactly how I thought we would, losing the first kickoff. Almost made it back, that's okay. Hopefully shouldn't be going for kickflips, um, sorry, speed flips yet. I'm still not super good at them. Just been kind of practicing them. Maybe for this video, I, I'm kind of practicing them like in-game, even though I lose a bunch of goals that way, but I, 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 don't, I, mean, I don't really care. But, but like, I probably shouldn't do that in-game just yet if I'm not going to be consistent for it for a video. He's going back. I'm just going to put in a weird spot. Maybe he'll get it back clear. He did, but I couldn't really capitalize. I'm going to stick his boost here. I think he's going to give his ball back to us right here. One more touch and he's going to lose his ball. Oh, he gets to pass this. Okay, no problem. Okay, good kickoff there. We get boost. I don't know if we get ball. We do. Great, we get ball here. I'm going to start just dribble at an angle so we can see him better. He gets boost. To it there, so put it somewhere awkward. Oh, we actually got it in. I meant to just put it awkward, like really high, so that he doesn't have too much forward momentum, so that we can grab that uh, corner left boost after he clears. But I'll take, I'll definitely take a goal. I'm gonna play it safe, take our corner boost, and then go for this right away. Take his boost here. Uh, it's kind of in a weird spot. I'm going to see if I can pinch it towards his net. Go for a demo. I get his boost as well. We m might be able to score this. Unlucky that he spawns there. That's okay. I'm going to turn on this early because he has no boost. He has to go back, I think. Good challenge by him. I'm going back. Here, I'm going to shadow on the inside. This is something I've been doing a little more recently. Shadowing kind of close on the inside here. Makes it a little easier for when he attacks our corner. We can clearly see where he's coming from. Challenge him in the corner. Probably save his place for us to do a 50. And then we, get, we win the 50, so we get a goal. Challenging your opponent in the corner is not usually a good idea because of situations like this. So I tend to, I tend to back off whenever I get the ball in their corner. So, and usually... A, can you skip please? I'm doing explanations while I'm... Or... Oh, the goal's happening, dude. Okay, we're gonna tap this down, take our time with it. He challenges pretty early, we're gonna remember this. So that in the future when we get control of the ball, we're gonna flick right away. Okay, nice. Another... Another 50 in our corner, but this time we can't capitalize as hard. Maybe we can get it away, away from him. Shoot it to the far post. Didn't didn't hit right there, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna shadow on the inside here. He takes it to our corner for us. Oh, he has more boost than we do, so we, he gets a demo. Might be a goal here. Yeah. Okay, let's go for a fake. He gives us the ball. I don't think we'll make it. Okay, go for faking. Dang. Okay, I tried to fake him to make him go back and then shoot, but he didn't. He didn't bite. 
That's okay. We're still just grabbing pads here. He's going for a lot of boost. I think he thinks we're low. So we might as well use that to our advantage here. Yep. Jumping over his demo. Bounce that out up. And then go for something on backboard. He might get the clear. Oh, he misses. I didn't think he'd miss. It's unfortunate. Open net. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately there, I was going to go for the double, but then I was, I was afraid he would clear it. So I, I wasn't really ready for him to miss the, the clear. But we repositioned quick. was able to still get a shot off, luckily, after he passes back to middle. Okay. Take our time with this 50 here. We're not in like really immediate danger, so we're pretty good here. There we go. Bouncing it off the sidewall like that has been giving me a lot of mileage in order to get it in a better angle towards the net. He keeps saying wow for skipping. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna meet him. Okay, I think we can go fast there and take this. Yeah. Uh okay, we're gonna shadow from the insides. So we so here we can clear the same. He's trying to cross me up. But we just gotta take it slow, let him shoot. He didn't really have a good angle to put something too deadly on, on target there, so. Okay. There it's fine. I don't mind him challenging me, because we're ahead right now. We can take this safely. Wait for a good 50 before we really do anything too committal. He That's over. Oh no, it's not. Oh gosh. I didn't think it would bounce in like that. Okay. Okay, we're getting towards the end of the game here, so we're gonna try to do a pretty safe kickoff, just stay as, stay as centered as possible. This is looking a little too risky to go for, so late into the game, but instead, uh, went for like a cheeky flick here that didn't really pay off. Luckily, he misses the open net. Okay, nice. Got a quick, just had to go fast there. Uh, we, we kind of realized that he's challenging really early every single time, so it doesn't need to, even need to be a good flick, just like, any flick is going to get it over him at this point. So as soon as the ball touches my car, I'm just going to flip it over if he's anywhere nearby. Okay, 20 seconds left. We could play this a little slower. Just send it towards his side. Maybe get a demo here. No demo. We're going to grab this boost and turn. Faking. Nice. That was pretty happy with, with the fake got us there. We're low on boost. But this is our ball. And we're good. Alright, that's a good first game. Let's get right into our second game. Let's make a bunch of little mistakes in the first one, but uh, hopefully we can avoid those in this game. Okay, he doesn't have a really good clear here. I think I'm gonna be able to take this. Oh, he gets the 50 on me. That might be in. Oh, he kind of he kind of leaves the ball alone prematurely, which gives us a chance to recover. I'm gonna fake here. Yeah. Bring that to our corner. And now we have control of this ball. I, depending on what he does, I might. Oh wow, he's gonna still go for it, even though he doesn't have too much boost. Okay. Okay. It's okay that. He gets it over with us there and here. Doesn't really matter because he doesn't have a shot. Just be patient with it. Then we can play off the bounce. Okay, so now he's going all the way back. So I'm going to go for a quick hook shot here. Doesn't get in, but not too bad for us because we can still put on pressure since he cleared it so hard. We're going to fake here. Back to back to our corner and then put it back towards his net. One more. Unfortunate. I think we might have been a bit overzealous there. But we're okay. No punish. We still don't really have boost, but we just need 10 here to play. Nice. Then we can just play it on the 50 here. Nice. Get that boost. 
Okay, cool. Brought it back to our corner, got the boost, just played really patient on the defense. This guy likes to make a lot of touches on the ball that aren't exactly like super threatening, but if you push him during those touches, he's gonna get it over you. Because if, if you commit to any touches, if you commit and he does any sort of minor touch, it'll still get around you. So if you just play patient and kind of stay further back, you're gonna be able to get around those, you know, ball chasers that some of you guys might have issues with, which I, I definitely do too. I, I, used, I used to be so bad against ball chasers. If they just outspeed me, I wasn't really sure why they were getting it past me. So I kind of learned to just play more patient, let them outplay themselves, essentially. Okay, got a quick kickoff goal there. Nice. Wow, people are really upset that I don't skip. I'm, I'm using the time to talk more, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're going to... Okay, got a quick save there. He's giving us our boost, which is really good. Okay, whoop, getting it. That's really bad for us. <laughs> okay, unfortunate. I, went, I slipped under the ball there. Didn't expect that. Okay, gonna put it in the weird spot. Just keep possession. We're not, I'm not in any hurry to really sco score right here. I just wanna keep possession of the ball, keep boost control. Bring it back to our corner, that's perfectly fine with me. Really bad clear attempt on my part, but luckily he misses and doesn't get the punish. Okay. I was gonna play off his clear, but he misses, so we got a goal. It got a little dicey there, but we're able to uh, keep control of that. Keep, keep control of the situation. Like, like I said before, as long as he doesn't have like a really proper shot on the goal, we, you know, we really take our time with the ball, just even though it's in our side of the net. Something I'm still really working on. Okay, I'm gonna let this fall. He, he can either go for boost or ball right here, and he... he Okay, there we go. He shouldn't... I don't think he really should have came for the ball there. Get, getting that extra touch didn't really mess me up as much as he thought it would. Which allowed me to get a good setup on him because he has to go to goal at that point. But he can't really challenge the ball anymore. Okay, 4-0. Pretty good start. Can't complain about this. Uh, we're going to play this a little slower now. Well, we're playing kind of slow anyways. But uh, I think at this point, we can play even more careful because just, just keep our lead here oh wow nice he got it over us there uh i should have chased him into the corner it's something i'm still like kind of messing with. i still kind of mess up on uh he had a really good turn on that ball i didn't expect that Nice bump there. Nice, okay. There he gets a bump on me, but luckily I was able to get the demo. This is really powerful. If you can't... Obviously I couldn't get a shot on net there because he was coming at me f from that direction. Anything I would have put on target is gonna get blocked. So hitting it on the backboard to get it around them, super useful technique. If you just need to like buy yourself some time on the offense. He's being really patient. If I just take this across, he's not going to be able to stop me. Because he's kind of facing outwards. Or he's kind of facing the ball, I mean. It's going to be our ball still. Nice. Keep the pressure on. He doesn't really have boost here. And shoot to the far post. There we go. Okay, got the kickoff. He's going for boost, so I'm just going to put on the shot early. See if we can play off his clear. Nice. He's, he's going to be able to clear this over us, so I'm going to go back to the net here. Should be our ball. Yep. He committed a bit too much to, to our ball, and we are able to capitalize on that. Just clear it as hard as we could and follow up. He got greedy trying to take our boost. And we get the Brazil. Nice. That's in, but that's okay. I didn't. I kind of messed up, grabbed me some of the pads there, so I couldn't 
do much off of it. Let's see if we can take this to the wall. I'm, okay, I'm bad. <laughs> if I wasn't really ahead, I probably wouldn't have gone for it. And, and generally, probably sh should it. Oh, what? I can't believe he missed! Okay, well, I guess he wants to continue his trip to Brazil. And that's it! Okay, good second game. Let's move on to the next. Alright, let's go. He was a little bit off-center there, so I flipped away from where I saw his name tag. Get an easy one in the kickoff. Right here, you can see his name is a little bit to the right, so I'm going to flip left. So I can flip in the same direction as him. He has a shot. Dangerous. Oh, unfortunate. I probably shouldn't have 50 him again there. That was really greedy of me that I wanted to win right then and there. It was pretty much his ball. Shouldn't have gone for it. Nice. I'm going to be able to take the boost here. I don't think he's... I think I hear him leaving. Yep. So this is going to be our ball to play. Go for the 50. Nice. He saw us going for the bump and he backed off. Didn't actually even need to go for it to benefit off of it. We're going to take control of this as he respawns. Start a dribble towards the far post. He's challenging right away, so we need to keep that in mind that he does this. Okay, that's no problem. We need to keep in mind that he challenges really early. Especially even though he like just spawned and is a full court away, he's going to come right at us. So something to definitely be mindful of. I'm gonna fake. Yeah. We got greedy for the boost. That's okay. Definitely a bad habit of mine there. I could have just grabbed three pads and played it. But I really don't like not having a lot of boost in ones. Because sometimes they can just... Okay. Just hit it around him. Saw him going straight for the ball. So Again, just hit it around him. Couldn't put something on the target because I have bad accuracy, but that's okay. Nice, he gives it back to us. We're going to take this boost and ball. Except we're going to fake it and go back down. Try to cross him up. There we go, got it. So here, uh, just because of the, the way he was facing, it looked like he wasn't boosting. So I kind of knew he was going to fake. You see right there, he didn't boost towards us. So I knew the challenge wasn't going to be real. So instead, I went for a cross up. Once I read that he was going to fake. I think he's got this, so I'm going to go for his boost instead. There we go. No boost here, but got it. Oh, no, we don't. You need to grab this boost right away and back out. Get the challenge. Okay, we can take it to the wall. Nice. Alright, evened it up. Let's go for a fake. Flip once towards- oh, he went, he went for the fake. Nice. Oh, no, that's bad. I don't really have boost? Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't really have a good amount of boost to follow up that bounce, so... We got kind of lucky that his recovery was really bad off of that. Let's go for a block kickoff. Just gonna... Flip cancel and block. There we go. Take it back to our corner. Getting boost in... It's in our corner, but we have boost in ball, so... Pretty happy with that. He's going for us still. Just get it around him. Not too focused on actually, like, scoring. Uh, he takes control of the ball, unfortunately. So we're going to go on the inside here. He's going to shoot soon. Oh, okay. We got pretty lucky there, honestly. Uh, I wasn't covering... The way he was angled, I was trying to cover the far post a little bit too much, and I left the near post wide open. Luckily, he stuffed the shot. We were able to capitalize. Same thing. He was kind of off to the side, so we can win that kickoff by flipping in the same di direction. Go for a double touch here. Or, oh no. Okay, it didn't bounce off the wall for a double like I wanted it to, unfortunately. And he, yeah. 
Definitely don't need to go for a risky play like that when we're up by two. Could have just banged it over, let him clear it, and go again. Playing a bit greedy right now. Go for his corner boost right away and take the ball. There we go. Here, I took the ball as far to the right as possible because he's kind of looking into his own corner, as you can see there. So if you take it away from him to the right, you're going to be able to get it around him because he can't turn fast enough to stop it from going across the front of his net. We can take our this boost and the ball. Okay, he gets the challenge. Doesn't get the demo. Okay, we hear him go far, so flick right away. Okay, I should have flicked a lot sooner there, I think. Similar problem, oh, similar problem to what we did pretty much early on in the match. He challenges early and it caught us off guard. He passes us the ball, but I don't think we can really capitalize. Okay, went, went, for, a fifth, went for a 50 setup, but he didn't uh, challenge, so... Went for a quick flick instead. Not good enough though. Oh, I barely grazed it. No. Okay, I barely grazed the ball. Not enough to really clear it well. I thought he was going to shoot it high, which is why I went on the backboard. Unfortunately, he didn't. So, good catch on that on his part. That he should shoot it low. He's going to boom it around us. I think he was trying to take it around to cross us up. Going for a demo here. We missed it. I'm going straight back. Woo! Dangerous. Okay, he centers it. I missed. Unfortunate. <laughs> Bring it back to our corner for some time. Took his boost. Nice. We have boost and ball now. There we go. There, I just tried to bring it as far away from him as possible. I really didn't need to uh, shoot right away since I was ahead. So he was coming from the left. I just tried to bring it to the right so that if he even so that even if he does fifty us, we're gonna come out on top of that fifty. And there we go. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more gameplay videos in the future, let me know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe with that notification bell on to stay tuned for it. Thank you again and I'll catch you next time.